Hey, I'm Kevin and I'm a teacher, so I'm going to create a program that allows us to enter uh, a list of students' names and saves a file um, that has uh, my roster, that is all of my students, but in addition to their names, I want to include um, some student ID numbers as well. And so I've started off with kind of a basic program that does that, um, but I'll build upon it to incorporate fstream, which saves out a file. So if you want to learn how to write data to a file using fstream, code along with me. So first, let's look at this program where we have um, these two different variables, name and ID. And um, what I'm going to do is ask the user for uh, a name and let them enter it. Um, and GitLine allows us to enter either a single word or multiple words if you want to enter their full name. Um, and instead of having the user enter an ID number, I'm just going to create an ID number for each user. Um, and so we're starting ID number at this value of zero and incrementing it each time. And currently what I'm doing is once I enter that information, I'm simply going to um, display it back out to the user um, unless they've entered, well, until they've entered quit in which we're going to end the program. So let's see this basic um, first start at the program by itself. So I'm going to compile it and run it. And it's asking for a name. You know, I'm just going to make my own name for now. And so Kevin should be one. We'll add another person to the list. John. John is student number two. Um, Anne is going to be the next person. Anne's number three. Um, and I could go, so, uh, go on and on adding more students, but I want to quit. Um, and so at this point, you know, that seems to be at least gathering the data, but the problem is it's only displayed out to the user when they're currently running the program. And instead, as a teacher, I want a file that just maintains the whole list so I don't have to run this program every single time I want to create a list of students. I can refer back to that file. Um, and so I only want to have to run this program once, enter all of my students, and then finally um, uh, refer to that program or refer to that file if I ever want to get a roster of my students again. So in order to do that, we're going to use fstream. And so the first thing I need to do is make sure that I import or include the fstream library. And so just as a reminder, fstream stands for file stream. So it's going to help us with the flow of data um, in and out of files. And so once I've done that, I need to actually have um, a file stream that goes through this. But I want to do this work in a dedicated function that instead of this line that prints out um, to the user, I want to that my output to be directed towards a file. And so I'm going to create a dedicated function that does that for me. It's not going to return anything, so I'm going to call it a void. Um, and I'm going to call this add student to roster. And it's going to receive um, two pieces of information. So it's going to receive the string, which is the name of the student, and then it's also going to receive their ID number. And so that's going to be an integer. And so that's my prototype. Let me actually start creating this function. And so particular, let me give those two parameters some names. So the first thing is our student. And the second thing is their student ID number. But inside this function, I'm going to call an fstream, or I'm going to create an fstream variable. And that fstream, I'm going to call writer. And so this writer will be responsible for creating a new file, going through, and um, you know, adding one student to that file. And so let's go through this. And um, with that writer, I am going to open up a file so I can edit it. And since I'm creating a new file, I'm just going to create a, spe uh, a special file name called roster. 
let's call it roster.txt because we're creating a text file. Um, and in particular, we're opening it up only to write to that file. Um, and so we can say fstream out, saying that we, we're going to use it for um, writing data out to that file rather than reading data in. And so with that, let me um, first verify that that writer successfully created or opened that file. So I want to say, OK, if writer is open, then what I want to do is actually um, take that data and put it into the file. And so it looks somewhat like C out if we've used C out again. Except for instead of directing to C out, which is the console, we want to direct it to the file. And so our file stream is called writer. And so writer output, I want to, I'm going to actually change up the order of how we display things out. Is I want to display first the student ID's number. Um, I'm going to put a space to separate thing, the number from the name. So I'm going to enter their number, a space, and then I'm going to uh, write out the student. And I actually want to have one student per line. Um, so I'm going to put an end line at the end of that. It'll look a lot like a C out statement, except for we're using writer, or our F stream, um, as the output. And, you know, just in case um, we fail at actually um, opening up a file that we can write to, I'm going to display out an error if that happens. And I'm going to do a C out and said, cannot save to file. Otherwise, um, once we have written that out to the file, we want to make sure that we close up the file um, so that it is um, not being actively edited when we don't need um, access to it. And so later on, when the second student comes up, it's going to go through and open up the file again. Um, and so writer.close essentially tells us that, you know, we are not currently editing this file anymore. Okay, so now that we've at least given a, a first attempt at this function, let's go through um, and see if it works, if it does you know, what we expected it to, um, creating a new roster file with our students. So first let me get into my terminal, and I'm going to compile this. It compiled, so let's run it, run a.out. Now let's start entering some students' names. So my first student is, I'm just going to make up some names, Jose. You might have even noticed, I, have, I opened up this file navigator over here, and a file called roster.txt popped up. Let's actually take a sneak preview as what it has. Indeed, it looks like it, it saved Jose's name in there. But the program's still running. We still want to add more students um, into it. So let's go in here and add another student, Juanita. Hmm. Well, it wrote that to the file, but it deleted Jose. And so what's happening here is if you look back at our function, we opened up roster.txt. And the very first time um, that that file didn't even exist, so it had gone over here, you know, created that file roster.txt, but that was a blank file. So it started writing it at the beginning. And that's what um, fstream out does by default, is it starts you at the beginning of the file. But the problem is once that file exists and it opens up again to read, uh, to write Juanita, it's starting at that beginning of the file. And so when we said, hey, write this output to the file, it writes it at that same location where it used to say uh, Jose. And so what, what became of it is it ended up overwriting my previous students. So if like I added another student down here, and let's say Gene, it's overwriting that student. And really what I want to do is compile a whole list of students. So let's look back at the code and say, is there a better way that we can do this? 
Now there's a couple ways where we could solve this problem, but it's common to create a file where instead of overwriting information, you want to keep adding stuff to a file. Instead, so instead of using the output mode, I'm going to use what's called the append mode. That is, we're appending or adding new things to the end of the file. And like output, append mode allows us to open up the file so we can save more information inside of it. However, append is unique in that it starts at the bottom of the file. So if we looked at this roster.txt, it should add here the first time we run it. But let's really start from scratch all over again. And so let me, let me delete this roster file. And I, I want to start my, my, um, my whole roster all over again. So I'm going to clear this out and recompile and run it again. And let me start with the beginning. I think I said Jose. It created the file again. Um, and Juanita. And what else I said? Gene and John. And let's add Joseph. This is an all J classroom. Um, and let's quit there. And let's see, does it actually um, create that file without overwriting those names? Yes, it worked this time. So here you can see um, each time that it had a new student added, um, their student ID is in incrementing each time from one to five, and it's added it onto the next line. So if we wanted to add another person to it, I could run the program again and give it a new name, and it would open up this existing file, and it would put it right here where line six would be right now. I hope this gave you a good introduction to using F streams to write out to files. Um, I hope you practiced along with me and I hope to see you next time.